Welcome to What is Learning? A Fundamental Look into Instructional Design Models. My name is Synovia Reynolds-Parks, and this is the final project for Unit 10 in course ED7624. And at the end of this module, students will be able to interpret the theory behind the big idea, blend learning pathologies, along with comparing and contrasting fundamental instructional design model of Bloom taxonomy backwards. Let's take a look at the world of instructional design. Apply it backwards. Does the model still work by creating an atmosphere for learning? How might the principles of the UBD enhance a lesson plan given content and create an instructional design based on need? The big idea for this module was to help other learners have a clear understanding of some of the basic and our fundamental theorists that we have studied this term so far. And the big idea is to create an instructional design plan or model and teach it to my fellow learners. We will cover best practices to follow in instructor-led design models and best practices for cognitive instructional design models. Guru of instructional design, John Keller, created the ARCS model and added V for volition in 2010. The ARC model is to match motivation to unique, effective characteristics of learning through the strategies of attention, relevance, confidence, satisfaction, and volition. Behavior is equal to a function of one's performance and effort. Effort is based on two prerequisites. One, a person must value the task and know the information being presented is beneficial. And two, a person must believe he or she can succeed at the task. In motivation, learning, and technology, why use Bloom's taxonomy over other universal design methods? With the workforce being so diverse that the majority of the workers are being classed as non-traditional groups, it now has been even more important for designers to know the motivational makeup of the learners. Models like ARC-V is a problem-solving mythology that takes an imperial approach to applying motivation to instructional design. In summary, if a student is truly engaged in learning a transfer of both being and becoming, and this takes us beyond psychology, sociology, and social psychology to philosophy and physiological anthropology and even to metaphysics are all theories or methods that can be applied based on a set of criteria, which is the instructional design models. Thank you for viewing and see you in week 10 with the extended version.